donor family for about six or seven years now. Uh, and the timing was just right. The, uh, the family had a passion for the mountain lion and bringing an exhibit here to Scopel Zoo. So we were excited to work with them to bring this to fruition. Right now is big day. We are getting ready for steel columns, which are going to support our netting for the exhibit, which I've been calling the playground for the pumas themselves. <laughs> We have a holding building that's going to actually house the uh, the cats and camels. The cats will come through a tunnel into their exhibit, and we have a very large viewing deck so visitors can come and get a 180 degree visual of the animals. The terrain, always the terrain. It's uphill both ways, and it's it's not an old man story. You're working at the zoo. The sounds of the animals, the, the birds. I mean, how often do you get to spend your whole work day at a zoo? It's, it's been pretty neat. So every three or four years, we really try to bring a new exhibit or a new experience to Scoville Zoo uh, to bring people back. Folks get used to the exhibits and it's kind of like, okay, do we, do we go to see the same old, same old? Or, oh, hey, there's a new exhibit, new penguin exhibit or a new mountain lion exhibit uh, at Scoville Zoo. So it brings folks back to the zoo and kind of reinvigorates the zoo. We appreciate the partnership with O'Shea. It's been great, uh, great partnership on this project to, to bring it out of the ground and I look forward to seeing it completed here in the near future.